Hey everyone, this is username Evil Tech. I had a couple of people that uh, watched my some of my camera videos ask me uh, what kind of equipment I have, and I need to go through my bags anyway because we're going to be going on vacation. So this is kind of a what's in my bag video. So we'll start with the small bag. Um, this is a low pro bag. It's kind of big, and this is a. Tamarack, Tamarack, Tamarack bag. And this is the bag that I actually just carry around with me because it's smaller. And I'll start at the top. Got my uh, what's all this for? I got my Nikon in the uh, top with a lens. And then uh, right now I've got the strap in there because I took it off. And then, uh, for some reason I carry this around in there. It's uh, me and my daughter, every time we go to an amusement park, we collect these and we, we filled up like 10 of these things. And this one has a bunch of spaces left in it, so I'll leave it in here. A bunch of little cleaning cloths. The, uh, the booklet to my Sony because I still got a refer to it every now and again. A uh, memory card case that has narrow memory card in it. They probably all fell out. They did. Somebody didn't zip it shut. My GoPro LCD. And, uh, it's got a 2 gig and an 8 gig. I've got 32 gig cards in both my cameras, so so that's what's in the top. And then in the front here, I got the remotes to uh, the remote to this camera and the remote to the one I'm shooting with. Like it's just about it. I don't really have anything else there. <clears throat> the side pockets have another tripod mount, uh, USB charger, and in this pocket I have a floaty for my uh, GoPro. I'm only going to water so I don't lose it. And uh, Lens wise, I have a 10 millimeter to 20 millimeter Sigma, a uh, 70 to 300 millimeter uh, Sigma, a 50 millimeter fixed Nikon lens, and an 18 to 55 for the camera I'm shooting with. So I only have two lenses for this camera. Right now I'm shooting with a 16 millimeter lens. And uh, on the body here I have 18 to 55 kit lens. So I'm not, you know, I think these are the two nicer lenses. And this one still isn't a high dollar lens. I, I, I just can't get those, afford the really expensive lenses. This is about the most expensive lens I have. And this is probably the cheapest. And this thing shoots real good in low light. So that's what's in that bag. And uh, everything's easy to get to. And when I get to when I get to the beach, I usually unload this bag a little bit. <clears throat> and. Um, Put that memory card down here so I can remember where it is. And I'm gonna put these cleaning pouches up here. I'm gonna go through and reorganize the bags just to uh, cut down some space. Before I do 
back too. I uh, this is the this is the tripod I use. I've got the two of these, two identical tripods. So the camera I'm shooting with now is on a tripod just like this one. And then I have the monopod that extends out. Really. It's got a dual screw. There's a screw inside a screw. A bolt inside a bolt, I should say. So you can use two different size mounts. <clears throat> Comes in handy. And then in another video, I have my little mini tripod. And a clamp tripod, but I don't have them in the bags right now, I don't think. Uh, nothing up front. Let's see. Starting the back. <clears throat> I have a laptop for putting the pictures on and stuff. This one is a HP swivel touchscreen. Pretty cool. And basically I just use that for putting movies and uh, that I shoot and or videos I shoot when I'm on vacation or whatever and pictures. Um, I don't use it much around here. I have a bag of those gel beads. Okay, that's the back. And in the top, this is messy. This thing is just we got the GoPro with the head strap. Got the GoPro windshield mount and outside of the vehicle mount. Got this for the condo and the uh, hotel or whatever. Um, has USB and plugs, surge protector. Got this for the car just in case we need power for something. Right here in the front clipped. I have a knife and then I have the uh, bloggy touch so I can uh, quick access to that. I got a little headlight I like to use um, on the beach at night if we go walking. <clears throat> um, got all my GoPro stuff, all the different backs for underwater and not. I have a poker chip memory card. It's one gig. I've had it for a long time, so it's not really much use at one gig. And some more cleaning pads. <clears throat> I have this mount that I made out of Delron. Delron. It's pretty cool for the GoPro. And looks like a USB cable to my hard drive, which my hard drive right now is hooked up to the TV. I've got a one terabyte hard drive I carry with me to get the pictures on. And in here's just miscellaneous stuff like the mouse with the USB and different cords, a little underwater pouch. So I put my money and stuff in it if we go like to Mexico or something. I don't have to worry about getting it wet. Pretty much, oh, I've got, oh no, there's my hard drive. Um, I have a one terabyte hard drive that I plug into the computer to put the pictures and videos on. Uh, my HD Hero manual, some cleaning solution, some extra batteries for the remotes. Alright, now that's it. I got a little pouch there with some more cleaning solution. Alright, now we go to the bottom. I don't think there's anything in the back here. Let me check. No, this doesn't open. Okay. In the bottom of this one, we have a charger for. charger for this camera and this camera is my wife it's pink I just put it in this camera bag it's underwater 
digital camera, take some video. It takes good pictures, not so much good video, but you can take it underwater. So I have the charger for that. I have my Nikon charger. I've got two of these since I have two batteries in the camera. Uh, one's plugged into the wall now that I'm using more cleaning solution. My daughter's camera, it's a Vivitar. It takes any eh, pictures. Okay. And uh, a Digipack underwater case if she wants to play in the pool or the beach. Don't have to worry about ruining the camera. I have what looks like a star filter to make lights shine or star effect. A little, little cleaning bulb. Um, a battery charger for... Oh, this is the other Nikon battery charger. A uh, bunch of cleaning pads. An adapter to put uh, Nikon lenses on this camera I have here. A uh, car charger plug for the Nikon. Miscellaneous GoPro mounts. Uh, a lens bat I'm not currently using for anything. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty much it. The only thing I don't have in here is uh, a couple chargers uh, and that little mini tripod, which I don't think it's laying here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I've got in my uh, in my bags. Um, usually this isn't in the bag. So once we start our trip, this is mounted on the windshield for taking like um, pictures every like time lapse pictures. And then uh, of course the camera I'm shooting with isn't in the bag. It's near me so I can take pictures and stuff. And uh, this camera's pretty close by too. So it's got two batteries. So you charge one, you have to wait till it's done, then charge the other. So I got an extra charger for like five dollars off eBay. So I charge them both at the same time. And uh, yeah, it's, I like this camera. It's just there's so much it'll do that it is sometimes. Um, too much to use when I can just take the one I'm using now and just shoot. That's pretty much it. I don't think I have anything else um, <clears throat> in the bags. Uh, Alright, so I hope this answered uh, a couple questions I have on how many cameras I have. That's, it seems like a lot, but I've accumulated this stuff over a long period. And I've also, cameras I've had, I've sold to and replaced them with like, I had a D40, I got, I got a D3000, I sold the D40, I got a D3000, I sold the D3000, I got the D5100, and uh, I had another video camera that I sold and got the one I'm shooting with now because um, that's where it's going. Uh, SLRs and HD cameras like this are taking over the world actually had uh, a couple other things that I came across real quick that I'm going to put in the bag and take with me. I always take this because my, um, my daughter likes to use it from Disney World when we went. She'll scribble stuff on here and go like, yeah, I see you, whatever. If we're using two cameras especially, that works out good. But we hardly ever use two cameras. Just something fun to do. Um, also have this in the bag. It's a it's a two-time doubler. So you put this on the camera and then you put the lens on it. So if you have a 300 millimeter lens it makes it a 600 millimeter but it's not that great. Things are blurry. It needs to be really sunny outside to use it because uh, it drops it down a bunch of steps. But still, it has its use. Um, and this thing that I did a video on, a little tripod. It's 
cool to have to just carry around. Fits in the bag real nice. Gotta put that back in there. And then I have this. Uh, it's a little steady cam. So you can walk around. It looks like the camera's floating. Got the little handle here, and you put your camera up here. And you can walk with it. This one's good. Um, got this one. It works, but the range of motion here is really bad. So I'm probably going to sell this one. Um, I don't really take it anywhere. I was going to do a video comparing this one to the other one, but uh, I don't know if I am or not. Because this does work. It just doesn't work as good. And it is a little bit cheaper. You know, you're looking at $50 for this. Sometimes $40, but I think it's $50. Might be more. And then this other one's like $90, $100, something like that. So, <clears throat> there's only one other thing, and I don't know where it's at, and that's the um, C clamp um, tripod or iPod, whatever you want to call it, camera mount. It's a C clamp. And then you put your camera on it, and you can just clamp it anywhere you want. I'm not sure where that's at. It might be in my truck. Um, I don't know. But when we go on va vacation, I'll shoot a bunch of videos there and put some up if everybody wants to see some of the uh, boring stuff we do. Now, everyone, peace out. See you later.